Teufelsberg, German for Devil's Mountain, is a non-natural hill in Berlin, Germany, in the Grunwald locality of former West Berlin. Teufelsberg is, as said, a non-natural hill created in the 20 years following the Second World War by moving approximately 75 million cubic meters of debris from Berlin. It rises about 80 meters above the surrounding Telto Plateau and 120 meters above the sea level in the north of Berlin's Grunwald Forest. The name Teufelsberg, literally Devil's Hill, is very fitting for a mound built out of the ruins of war, but in fact it has nothing to do with this painful history. The hill was actually named after the nearby Teufelsee, which is a favorite lake for those Berliners who like to bath in the nude. The hill is made of debris and rubble and covers an unfinished Nazi military technical college, Wehr Technische Fakultät. During the Cold War, there was a US listening station on the hill, Field Station Berlin. The site of the former field station is now fenced off and is currently being managed by an organization which charges 5 to 10 euros for public access. After the Cold War ended and the Warsaw Pact collapsed, Western spy agencies no longer had any need for the Teufelsberg station, so it was abandoned and fell into disrepair. After the Communist Putsch in the city parliament of Greater Berlin, for all four sectors of Berlin, in September 1948, separate parliaments and magistrates were formed for East and West Berlin. This also ended much of the cooperation between West Berlin and the state of Brandenburg surrounding West Berlin in the north, west and south. While part of the rubble from destroyed quarters in East Berlin was deposited outside the city boundary, all the debris from West Berlin had to be dumped within the western boundary. Due to the shortage of fuel in West Berlin, the rubble transport stopped during, during the Berlin blockade. Although there are many similar man-made rubble mounds in Germany and other war-torn cities of Europe, Teufelsberg is unique in that the never completed Nazi military technical college designed by Albert Speer is buried beneath. The Allies tried using explosives to demolish the school, but it was so sturdy that covering it with debris turned out to be easier. In June 1950, the West Berlin magistrate decided to open a new rubble disposal on that site. The disposal was planned for 12 million cubic meters. With the end of material shortages after the blockade, an average of 600 trucks deposited 6,800 cubic meters of material daily. On November 14, 1957, the 10 million cubic meter arrived. The site was closed for dumping in 1972, leaving approximately 26 million cubic meters of debris and to a lesser extent construction waste. The Senate of West Berlin opted to plant greenery on the hill as a beautification project. But the empty buildings have had a new coat added to their colorful history. Graffiti artists from around the globe have come to spray on its walls, turning it into the largest graffiti gallery in Europe. Teufelsberg was originally thought to be 150 meters high, which placed it at the same elevation as Großer Mittelberg, and was the highest point in West Berlin. New measurements show that Teufelsberg is actually 120.1 meters high, 
making it higher than Grosa Muggelberge. In February 1955, a 24-meter-long ski jump opened on the hill, designed by the ski jumper and architect Heini Klopfer. A larger ski jump opened March 4, 1962, offering space for 5,000 spectators. Ski jumping ceased in 1969, allowing the ski jumps to fall into decay. The jumps were removed in 1999. Teufelsberg has been a location for several recent movies and television programs, such as The Gamblers, Berlin Station, Covert Affairs, and We Are the Night, in which the finale takes place in Teufelsberg. As in the whole of Grunwald Forest, wild boar frequently roam the hill.
the U.S. National Security Agency, NSA, built one of its largest listening stations atop the hill in 1963, supposedly as part of the Global Echelon Intelligence Gathering Network. The hill, as it was known by many American soldiers who worked there around the clock and who commuted there from their quarters in the American sector, was located in the British sector. In July 1961, mobile Allied listening units began operations on Teufelsberg, having surveyed various other locales throughout West Berlin in search for the best vantage point for listening to Soviet, East German and other Warsaw Pact nations' military traffic. They found that operations from atop Teufelsberg offered a market improvement in listening ability. This discovery eventually led to a large structure being built atop the hill, which would come to be run by the NSA. Construction of a permanent facility was begun in October 1963. At the request of the US government, the ski lifts were removed because they allegedly disturbed the signals. At the height of the Cold War, 1500 spies worked on the Teufelsberg in three shifts. British and American spies were both based there, but the relationships doesn't appear to have been totally harmonious. Brits and Americans were both on Teufelsberg, but they were there together, according Christopher McLaren, a US veteran who was stationed at the site during the Cold War. Presumably, this means that the British GC headquarters did whatever the NSA told it to.